The goat or domestic goat, Capra hercus, is a domesticated species of goat antelope typically kept as livestock. It was domesticated from the wild goat, C. gagras, of Southwest Asia and Eastern Europe. The goat is a member of the animal family Bovidae and the tribe Caprini, meaning it is closely related to the sheep. There are over 300 distinct breeds of goat. It is one of the oldest domesticated species of animal, according to archaeological evidence that its earliest domestication occurred in Iran at 10,000 calibrated calendar years ago. Goats have been used for milk, meat, fur, and skins across much of the world. Milk from goats is often turned into goat cheese. Female goats are referred to as does or nannies, intact males are called bucks or billies, and juvenile goats of both sexes are called kids. Castrated males are called weathers. While the words herson and caprine both refer to anything having a goat-like quality, herson is used most often to emphasize the distinct smell of domestic goats. In 2011, there were more than 924 million goats living in the world, according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. The modern English word goat comes from Old English gat she goat, goat in general, which in turn derives from Proto-Germanic asterisk gaitas, cf Norwegian slash Icelandic geit, German geis, and Gothic gates, ultimately from Proto-Indo-European asterisk ados meaning young goat, cf Latin hedas kid. To refer to the male, Old English used buka, giving modern buck, until ousted by hagodi, hagod in the late 12th century. Nanny goat, females. Originated in the 18th century, and billy goat, for males, originated in the 19th century. Goats are among the earliest animals domesticated by humans. The most recent genetic analysis confirms the archaeological evidence that the wild bezoar ibex of the Zagros Mountains is the likely original ancestor of probably all domestic goats today. Neolithic farmers began to herd wild goats primarily for easy access to milk and meat, as well as to their dung, which was used as fuel, and their bones, hair, and sinew were used for clothing, building, and tools. The earliest remnants of domesticated goats dating 10,000 years before present are found in Ganjay Dairy in Iran. Goat remains have been found at archaeological sites in Jericho, Chogamami, Jaitun, and Kayonu, dating the domestication of goats in Western Asia at between 8,000 and 9,000 years ago. Studies of DNA evidence suggests 10,000 years ago as the domestication date. Historically, Goat hide has been used for water and wine bottles in both traveling and transporting wine for sale. It has also been used to produce parchment. Life expectancy for goats is between 15 and 18 years. An instance of a goat reaching the age of 24 has been reported. Several factors can reduce this average expectancy. Problems during kidding can lower a doe's expected lifespan to 10 or 11, and stresses of going into rut can lower a buck's expected lifespan to 8 to 10 years. Goats are reputed to be willing to eat almost anything, including tin cans and cardboard boxes. While goats will not actually eat inedible material, they are browsing animals, not grazers like cattle and sheep, and, coupled with their highly curious nature, will chew on and taste just about anything remotely resembling plant matter to decide whether it is good to eat, including cardboard, clothing and paper, such as labels from tin cans. Aside from sampling many things, Goats are quite particular in what they actually consume, preferring to browse on the tips of woody shrubs and trees, as well as the occasional broad-leaved plant. However, it can fairly be said that their plant diet is extremely varied, and includes some species which are otherwise toxic. They will seldom consume soiled food or contaminated water unless facing starvation. This is one reason goat rearing is most often free-ranging, since stall-fed goat rearing involves extensive upkeep and is seldom commercially viable. Goats prefer to browse on vines, such as kudzu, on shrubbery, and on weeds, more like deer than sheep, preferring them to grasses. Nightshade is poisonous, wilted fruit tree leaves can also kill goats. Silage, fermented corn stalks, and haylage, fermented grass hay, can be used if consumed immediately after opening. Goats are particularly sensitive to listeria, bacteria that can grow in fermented feeds. Alfalfa, a high-protein plant, is widely fed as hay, fescue is the least palatable and least nutritious hay. Mold in a goat's feed can make it sick and possibly kill it. In various places in China, goats are used in the production of tea. Goats are released onto the tea terraces where they avoid consuming the green tea leaves, which contain bitter-tasting 
substances, but instead eat the weeds. The goat's droppings fertilize the tea plants. The digestive physiology of a very young kid, like the young of other ruminants, is essentially the same as that of a monogastric animal. Milk digestion begins in the abomasum, the milk having bypassed the rumen by a closure of the reticuloesophageal groove during suckling. At birth, the rumen is undeveloped, but as the kid begins to consume solid feed, the rumen soon increases in size and in its capacity to absorb nutrients. The adult size of a particular goat is a product of its breed, genetic potential, and its diet while growing, nutritional potential. As with all livestock, increased protein diets, 10 to 14 percent, and sufficient calories during the prepuberty period yield higher growth rates and larger, eventual size than lower protein rates and limited calories. Large framed goats, with a greater skeletal size, reach mature weight at a later age, 36 to 42 months, than small framed goats, 18 to 24 months, if both are fed to their full potential. Large framed goats need more calories than small framed goats for maintenance of daily functions goats are naturally curious. They are also agile and well known for their ability to climb and balance in precarious places. This makes them the only ruminant to regularly climb trees. Due to their agility and inquisitiveness, they are notorious for escaping their pens by testing fences and enclosures, either intentionally or simply because they are used to climbing. If any of the fencing can be overcome, goats will almost inevitably escape. Goats have been found to be as intelligent as dogs by some studies. When handled as a group, goats tend to display less herding behavior than sheep. When grazing undisturbed, they tend to spread across the field or range, rather than feed side by side as do sheep. When nursing young, goats will leave their kids separated, lying out, rather than clumped, as do sheep. They will generally turn and face. An intruder and bucks are more likely to charge or butt at humans than are rams. A study by Queen Mary University reports that goats try to communicate with people in the same manner as domesticated animals such as dogs and horses. Goats were first domesticated as livestock more than 10,000 years ago. Research conducted to test communication skills found that the goats will look to a human for assistance when faced with a challenge that had previously been mastered, but was then modified. Specifically, when presented with a box, the goat was able to remove the lid and retrieve a treat inside, but when the box was turned so the lid could not be removed, the goat would turn and gaze at the person and move toward them, before looking back toward the box. This is the same type of complex communication observed by animals bred as domestic pets, such as dogs. Researchers believe that better understanding of human-goat interaction could offer overall improvement in the animal's welfare. The field of anthrozoology has established that domesticated animals have the capacity for complex communication with humans when in 2015 a Japanese scientist determined that levels of oxytocin did increase in human subjects when dogs were exposed to a dose of the love hormone, proving that a human-animal bond does exist. This is the same affinity that was proven with the London study above, goats are intelligent, capable of complex communication, and able to form bonds.